Okay, y'all, so it's gonna be another singing moment, but what I heard was I was taking a bath earlier, and what I heard while I was in the tub was, how'd that song go? Shit, I forgot. I can't think of that name. No, you're never gonna get it, not this time. My loving, no, you're never gonna get it. Had the chance to make a change. What is that name? In Vogue. I heard that song, y'all. So somebody wants to make amends with a feminine, but she ain't trying to hear it. No, you're never gonna get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Holy Spirit, what is the message here? What is it that you would like for us to know? And before I get started, y'all, I'm sure you're gonna be hearing the binaural beats in the background. I just want to mention what I'm listening to. You can stream it on Spotify or any of the other apps and platforms out here, okay? But right now I'm listening to Spiritual Sleep 111 on the phone. And y'all, I was listening to this the other night and I felt like I might've been levitating, okay, child? I'm just trying to tell you these beats really have been speaking to my mind, body, and spirit. So right now I'm streaming Spiritual Sleep. The link will be in the description box. So enjoy, it's free, enjoy, okay? So let's see here, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this download? What is the message here? Let's see, one more shuffle, you guys. I hope everybody's doing good. If you're new to my channel, I just ask that you hit that like button, tap in energetically so that you can get messages that'll speak to your mind, body, and spirit, okay? Let's see what comes out. Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know at this time? What is the message here? No, you're never gonna get it. This not a pinnacle said. No, you're never gonna get it. Not this time, okay? <laughs> With this seven of wands. She is blocking all offers and attempts of reconciliation from a particular masculine. Who is this masculine, Holy Spirit? He's been trying to communicate how he wants to have a future with her, how he wants to balance the relationship, the connection between the two of them. This man has been reaching out to her, but she has him on block most likely or she's either been ignoring his attempts because that cycle is over for her, okay? Picking up on just a very stable, well-grounded individual who went through a lot with this particular masculine. She gave him her love, love a number of times, I'm hearing, okay? And it's like she's fed up. Not this time. No, you're never gonna get it. She been giving it. That's what I'm getting. She been giving it. To this King of Cups here. And all these various chances he had to have her love, to be able to be in her essence, enjoy her every being, okay? Like what he trying to do now. He left her in the Nine of Swords as a result. Every time she tried to give him this opportunity in the past. What happened here, Holy Spirit? We have the hermit. He will withdraw or either move on to calmer waters. Either or and or. Both, I'm hearing at times. With these nine swords, it's just giving that there's been possibly up to nine times this woman attempted to have some type of connection or relationship with this particular masculine, this King of Cups here, and he refused to boss her up. He refused to place her in this Queen of Pentacles position here, okay? And this is why she's at this no, you never gonna get it type of energy. This cycle is over with for her. She's received the truth and clarity that she needs to know about this masculine and his true intentions to her. True intentions for her, excuse me. 444 was just on the phone. She's gotten spiritual downloads, insight, guidance, all that shit to know that this offer, even if this man is saying 
that he wants to be her partner this time around. Okay, I feel like it's been plenty of other time around times around when he he could have made this happen. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. I'm telling y'all this. This is a look. We got the Eight of Swords. What did I say? It's been up to nine times that this woman has attempted to give this man an opportunity to behave as a King of Pentacles in her life, and he let her, left her in some type of spiritual mental prison karmic cycle this is a karmic cycle that this nine of pentacles is no longer willing to play and be a part of okay she she is going for justice and balance and nothing but okay this may be someone who has libra in their chart her libra may be in pluto which just means that if someone was being very karmic to her they are receiving karma now they're seeing the error in their ways now. Okay, y'all. So I'm smiling ear to ear because I had to interrupt the reading and take a call. But I just want to say that there were a lot of this, this call that I just had to take that I just got off of like 30 minutes later. It had a positive ending. It was a very good, positive ending, okay? And what I'm trying to say by saying that is that this connection has had a number of interruptions, a number of attempts for these two people to try to make contact, okay? Because I feel like God just humbled me a little bit, y'all. I can be humbled. I get humbled every day, child. I'm trying to tell you, ain't nobody too exalted to be humble at any given time, okay? Okay. And that humbled me because I was feeling very haughty. I was feeling this Nine of Pentacles energy like, no, you're never going to get it. Y'all heard me before and shit. I was feeling her like she was dead ass about that. But sometimes you have to be patient. 111 on the phone. You have to see things from the other side sometimes. So we're going to get more insight into this because I feel like Something happened here that caused a lot of these interruptions. Something happened for this King of Pentacles to constantly be on the fence about this Nine of Pentacles here. That don't make it right, okay, with this Nine of, Knight of Pentacles. But I just feel like, especially with this communication that I just received, that this King of Pentacles wants to explain to this Nine of Pentacles why he has been in this indecisive energy why he's kept her in this spiritual loop you know i feel like he's judged himself about his actions every time that he's had an opportunity to create and develop some type of relationship or bond with this nine of pentacles he betrayed her somehow he caused the ending in their connection and i i just feel like you know he he's at the point where he wants to explain his the air in his ways. He wants to help her understand, 222 on the phone, why he was so combative, so conflicted, so chaotic at times in this connection, okay? He wants to do better, okay? And we can't fault people for wanting to do better. We talk shit about them wanting to do better, but then when we see them try to do better, we want to be like, oh, that motherfucker ain't serious. Oh, he gonna play me again. Oh, 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 okay? But, you know, think about your own personal situations and circumstances and the times that you collaborated with people and did things that were not the best to do, Okay? And you evolve from that. I feel like I'm talking to this Nine of Pentacles now. You evolve from that. You evolve from what you may have been caught up in the past that even kept you going back and forth with this King of Pentacles like this. Okay? But for some reason, I do feel like these people got some old soulmate type of energy going on here. Okay? I'm picking up. I'm telling you, that phone call humbled me, and I'm just so thankful and happy and grateful for the end result of that call. But y'all, that call humbled me. That call, call taught me about patience. And I feel like this Nine of Pentacles had been patient for a long time with this Page of Pentacles, hoping 
that things would pan out between her and this King of Cups, King of Pentacles energy here. But it never did. So now she didn't got indignant. Like, no, I ain't going for it. You ain't never going to get it. But I'm telling y'all, I'm picking up. Before you turn your back and before you take action, try to hear what this emperor, emperor has to say, okay? If this motherfucker trying to come and balance shit out with you, see what he talking about. Because that definitely is giving an ego death occurred, okay? Some kind of, something happened to make this man want to take this action towards you, to want to take this risk here. With this knight of swords to the chariot, he feels like even though it's a toss up, it could cause some destruction because of this energy that this nine of pentacles is in. He's hoping that this risk that he takes towards the future is going to end up being a happy moment for both of them with this nine of cups, that he will be satisfied with the results, that she'll be satisfied with his new energy and that she can truly finally be his empress. Okay, y'all see how this energy switched up? Because sometimes God got to humble us. You say you want to be with somebody, but then when they ain't, when they try to act like they want to fuck with you the right way, you want to cut them down. Okay? And this is something I'm getting here. Yeah, this, yeah he acted up eight or nine times. But that goes back to a, a channel message I did a few weeks ago. My show, Flatbush um, Misdemeanors, okay? Denise, I love her energy. That's my girl right there, okay? But her her uncle, he a dope dealer. He, he do what he got to do. He take care of her because her daddy locked up and her mama's in Haiti. And her daddy was coming up for parole. And she was very reluctant. She did not believe that he was going to get out because she told her uncle, she was like, what's so different from this time, what's going to be so different about this time that wasn't different the last 100 times? And he said, that's because it's this time, not the last 100 times. And then her daddy ended up getting out. And I'm getting that vibe here again. Like, yeah, you put in a lot of effort. You struggle with this connection. You have been persistent in showing who how you really feel for this emperor energy. Y'all done came out here as each other's match twice, Okay. Y'all do have a divine connection. This is one of those ultimate partnership type of energies with this Ace of Pentacles. Y'all do share some type of past life vibe here as well with this Six of um, Cups, excuse me, with this Six of Pentacles. I'm picking up past life vibes but with this Six of Pentacles. It's also given that y'all have given to and received from each other in past lives. I'm still picking up past life energy off the Six of Pentacles. Y'all have been family to each other before, okay? So it's time to be family to each other again. This man trying to be your family, he trying to be your king of pentacles. Yeah, he had you in the five of pentacles in the past. We ain't gonna knock that, but you gotta heal from that. You gotta truly release that. Maybe you are there. I feel like I'm talking to her directly, Holy Spirit. Hopefully she'll hear it. You. That's why you like this. No, you're never going to get it. Not, I ain't trying to accept shit from you either. But the Holy Spirit is saying, don't be in this energy. Be in this energy. Choose wisely. If you see some bullshit, address it. But you ain't got to be in this hate and five of swords energy, mad and pissed and fuck you and I'll do what I want to do type of shit, <laughs> okay? And I ain't fucking with you. God is saying lead with love. You done came out as this man's match as a third, for a third time, okay? Choose wisely. Like I said, you know, if you, it look like it's some bullshit going on in the game, you know, be careful what you accept and absorb here. But give the man a chance. That's what I'm hearing. Give the man a chance. Okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? I saw the moon just now, but it didn't want to like want to come out all the way. We got the nine of wands. Because this man this man hurting now about you, nine of pentacles. One of y'all in my collective I'm picking up on. 
This man, you know, he he fucked up. He fucked up, but honey, he ready to jump off that damn cliff about you, okay? It's really given that the karma and the grief is fucking with him quite heavily. I'm getting that now. And he is trying to experience a transformation. He is trying to he is trying to create a transformation. That's the right word. He's trying to celebrate with this nine of pentacles again. So hopefully it'll work out because, you know, God had to humble me, child. And I'm trying to tell you that was a message for whoever this nine of pentacles is too. Humble yourself. Okay. Reduce the flaws that will cause your downfall because a flaw that's going to cause your downfall in this connection with this king of pentacles is being judgmental. This man already judging himself. That had came out here before. So, you know, just give him a chance. Give him a chance, child, to say what he need to say. If it ain't what, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't sounding right to you, feeling right to you, move forward. But at least give this person an opportunity, okay? And you, you have enough discernment to determine if this is a person that you should give your loyalty to, that you should trust, that you should try to build a bond with again. You decide, okay? But I'm gonna drop the mic here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance that you're looking for. Don't forget to check those links out in my description box and stream Spiritual Sleep on all platforms. But always remember y'all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.